you're measuring a little bit ahead, we probably could mm. order another scan. Is that normal? Well, maybe, maybe not. It could just be the position of the baby. It could be because um. you're diabetic. Babies, hmm. people who are diabetic tend to have bigger kiddos or have more fluid around the baby. Hmm. So she's getting ready to do her sugar test on Friday. We could put in an order for a repeat scan for um, EFW and AFI just to look okay. and give us another piece of the puzzle. Is that what you want, pictures? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll do that real quick then. So you'll have to call and schedule that. See if you can do it on Friday when you have your sugar test done. Well, every time I call and schedule, they say that I put the, I they don't do because there's no order in here. No, yeah, she's, yeah, putting it, she's putting in an order right now. I'm going to okay. Yay. Just going to see here and get in it. So you go back in under um, smart sets again. Um, yeah, I think yeah. Do you know a baby will have to get tested for COVID when they come? No. no. The only reason a baby's tested if mom's positive. So if you're symptomatic and, and they test you and you're positive, then your baby has to be tested. If you're positive, they also will separate your baby from you after birth until they have baby's hmm. results. Yep. Do you know how long, like, about how long I will have to stay in the hospital? With it depends on how sick you are. Are you thinking you have COVID? You're asking no. lots of questions. No, I just want to <laughs> know because I'd be watching man's videos. <laughs> yeah, so um, as long as you're quarantining and you have had no exposures and no risk, you mm -hmm. should be fine. If you think you have any exposures or you have any symptoms, you need to let us know right away so we can test you. We have currently two positive moms who are pregnant with COVID and they're both stable and doing well. One of them was in the hospital for about six days, but she's back home again and doing well.